We are happy you are here, and we are joined, as always, by Greg Angered, Beer Director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a James Beard Award nominee. The group includes where we are, Churchkey, downstairs, Birch and Barley. Greg, it is always good to see you. You too. What's on tap this week? Well, this week, we have uh, a new beer from the brewery, um, and actually, Ooh. I already helped myself to it. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't, uh, couldn't hold back. It's been a while to ha since we've had one of theirs. Yeah. and Just a premier, uh, premier brewery in the country. Yes, indeed. They are um, really uh, cool because, and, and I really want to f um, feature this beer, which is called Beret, because it's a, a way to introduce a new thing going on with the brewery, and that is that they opened a separate facility um, down the road from their uh, original facility, which they uh, opened in 2008. They opened a, a wholly separate facility where they moved all of their wild, funky farmhouse ale production and their sour ale production all the way down there. So they kind of have like uh, two heads to the brewery now. And if you'll notice on the label, this is indicated by the word uh, terreau, I guess, is how you say that, uh, which is loosely French for like earthy. So the brewery terreau, if you see this, it indicates that it's the sour and or funky side of, of the brewery. So beers that they've made in the past, like Saison Rue and Oud Tart, um, are actually now going to be brewed over uh, at the new facility, uh, whereas the, the, the cleaner, um, non-funky, non-sour beers will remain being made at the original facility, beers like Mischief wow. and stuff. So, How far away did you say it was again? Just a few Mischief? miles away oh, okay. um, in That's the same nice. um, town, Orange County, uh, California. So Beret is a new beer launched through the new um, production facility. Uh, it is an uh, imperial wit beer, so brewed with a good amount of wheat. It's nice and hazy. Um, it's fermented with a, a classic wit beer ale mm -hmm. yeast strain. Um, it's, it's spiced, presumably with some um, coriander. Um, and then when it's finished fermenting, they add a blend of bacteria to sour um, the beer, and then they blend it with some pureed raspberry. But you'll notice that it's not reddish in color. It's just a touch for the fruit. The nose? The nose is very inviting. It's very, uh... Wow. It's good. And dangerous. It's 9% alcohol. Hello. <laughs> Um, definitely kind of drinks like a lighter, crisp, refreshing wheat beer, but really awesome amount of acidity, not too sour as always. I love how this is, some people may not like, you know, they'll, they'll read into it and be like, oh, raspberries, they expect like a huge raspberry bomb or a big sour bomb. To me, this is so great because of its balanced complexity. Absolutely. I'm Lots getting the raspberry on. on the end. On the end, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. And, yep. um, you know, God, we've said this 20, 30 times. If, if, if you want to break out, from whatever you like, whether you like Pilsners or Kolsch or you're a hophead, wary about sours. This is very mild. And I'm still tasting that raspberry. It's delicious. That's really yeah. nice. I love the nose. It has a lot of like, um, like fruity, spicy notes from the yeast. It's very uh, phenolic and estery, like aromatically in the nose, but this is wonderful. We've talked a lot about California breweries that are uh, uh, branching out over here. We've got Stone coming to Richmond. Mm -hmm. um, Tell me again about Virginia Beach. It's, Green Flash. Uh, Green Flash. Uh, Ballast Point is looking for a site, oh, most likely hello. in Virginia. Yeah. How about the National Zoo near where <laughs> I live? That would be great. I, well, there might be a spot in Cleveland Park we know about. Um, wow, fa fabulous. What would you pair this with? Um, so I guess I'm just pining for the summer that's uh, leaving us behind now. Goodbye, uh, 98 degrees. When I think I'll miss I have, you. Right, yeah, you, you, don't, you don't mind that too much. But we do have tomato season still happening. So. Um, a beer like this with that nice gentle acidity, that kind of berry fruit quality is awesome with all things tomato. So like whether it's a, just a straight up like basil mozz uh, or pizza or caprese salad, even like how, homemade salsa, um, uh, it'd be amazing with this beer. How about bruschetta? With Perfect, the olive exactly, oil yep. the, yeah. A little basil, a little mozzarella. Before we go, let's get an update on Snallygaster. That's about, uh, well, not far away. A week away. Are there tickets still available for people yes. who want to go? Yes, so VIP is sold out um, and has been for a few weeks now, but we still have general admission tickets available online at snallygasterdc.com, but also uh, available day of if you want to just kind of show up. We'll have plenty of tickets available. 50% more room this year. Yeah, that's Enough, big. 50 more beers, so we're actually over 300 to about 322 right now. Lots of crazy stuff. These guys, speaking of which, are among the kindest, if not the kindest, with the rarities they send out every year. We're going to have Grey Monday from them, which is a beer they've never poured on the East Coast before. And we're going to have 
uh, a host of others. So please come come on out um, for the for Sally Gaster. And can you find this in beer stores around here? Or do you have to come? You can. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Beret is uh, it's around beer stores. Non draft though, only bottle. So you'll see it in, in better beer shops throughout the um, uh, D.C., Virginia, Maryland area. Everyone, please thank you, Greg. You're welcome. Thank Everyone, you. please always do drink responsibly. And be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.